Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were in the medical wing. I swear this game really does a good job of messing with your head. Constantly think something's behind you, which is really cool. So, let's continue looking for our hydrazine tank, shall we? Um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do text logs. Oh, hello. Sunshine. You're not fooling me, mate. Let's see if we can get ourselves a stabbing stick. Because we like our stabbing sticks around these parts. Now, oh, nice big glowing eyes on the fella. Hmm. Alright, can't tell if he was alive or dead. Probably already dead, considering he's got, like, glowing eyes. Alright, well, whatever. So we're going to head through there. This is just the other way into the, yeah, where we got the paddles from. Cool. Right, come on, Isaac. Let's get out of here. Did you drop anything? No, you're a stingy one. Alright. Fair enough. Boop. Work the old magic on the door here. Lovely. Oh, hello. Oh, you son of a bitch. Really? This is not the right time for a hug and kiss. To be honest. Doing some good damage to him. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't mind the line gun. I think we need to pump in some more upgrades into the line gun. Um, I was expecting a little bit more of a effect, but you know, it's fine. We'll take it. All right, let's go get juiced up. So, we have a whole other section that we haven't explored yet. Yeah, I think when we get to like the next objective, or we finish off our current objective, we're just gonna... ...have a bit of a read of the text logs. Because uh, I've actually already got them all for this chapter, so... You know, that makes things pretty easy. Um... We actually have a lot of gear, which is fine. We're just going to hold on to that for now. I'm kind of tempted to buy some nodes, actually. Might not be a terrible idea. Um, we've got like 51, 151 grand. Let's just like buy some nodes. Let's just get like six or so. There we go. Round ourselves down to 100k. Because most likely we are going to get that money back anyway. So, whatever. Now, I do want to keep some money spare for medkits and things like that. Alright. Now, in that room there, I think there's some nice goodies. But we can't get there yet. Alright. Oh. Hello. Yeah, don't, don't recommend that, mate. I mean, look at that. He's basically smashed his own face off, which is a little bit awkward, really. Uh, wouldn't recommend. But, hey, these are stressful times, I'm sure. Right. I believe there is a marker in here somewhere right well I'm sure we will find that in due time anything else oh we've got a wheelchair so somebody was manning the station with a wheelchair I mean that's pretty fancy so 500 years into the future I guess wheelchairs are still essential. 
You'd have thought they'd just regrow you a new spine or something, but hey, what do I know? Alright, let's get this stiff out of the way. Uh, it's one of those ones that gives birth to the little things. Um, and those little things, which we will see later on, they're actually really difficult to deal with. Oof. Something fell through here. Yeah, they're really difficult to deal with because, um, you know, there's loads of them coming at you at speed. And there's only so much you can do with a plasma cutter that has no area of effect damage. Right. Hello. Just you? Alright. So I can definitely confirm now that the enemies are stronger. We're getting a lot of those black. They're not even black, are they? They're like blue, black, kind of rotted. Delicious things. Alright, let's power this bad boy up. And what have we got? So we can power up some doors, or we can power up some elevators. So let's go with the doors for now. Um, and see what we can grab. Now, does that unlock the good doctor's door? It does. Excellent. Oh, hello. Don't want to leave that lying around. No good leaving that for the roaches. Right. So, what's in here? Apart from a big old pile of guts on an operating table. It's not great, is it? Audio log. Patient log retrieved. I hear the tests on patient Harris were inconclusive. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that... blood. The suicides. But this is a revelation, Terence. We just need more insight to... translate it. You think this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche. I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. I can't sign off on this. You'll do what's best, of course, but... How long can we afford to wait? Hmm, Harris, eh? So, Dr. Mercer has taken a vested interest in this Harris fellow. Well, that certainly isn't going to uh, cause any issues later on in the game. No Surrey Bob. Right, so we can't actually do anything here. Doesn't look like. There is a level 2 chest in there, though. So, we'll need to make a mental note of that. See, it's all these little one-off chests that um, you're probably going to forget. <laughs> I know I do. Hey, we got a bench. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Just you? Yeah, just you. Oof. Now, it does make me wonder if these people are actually genuinely still alive. Or if we're just kind of hallucinating that they're dying. I don't know. It's hard to tell with the marker playing tricks on all of us. So there's a lot back here for level two. Got ya. Um, now, these fan blades here that get broken off these... Um, vents when the enemies break through they are obscenely powerful it's worth remembering right let's see so we've got seven nodes to play with our suit is fully powered out which is nice um, what can we do with our flamethrower our flamethrower is actually unfortunately capped out um so we need to find, it looks like, another two upgrades for that. Right, our line gun. Yeah, line gun's also capped out, so we're at a bit of a barrier. Uh, okay, well... I guess we could start working on another weapon. The Ripper sounds fun. Pulse rifle. 
Um, contact beam. That fires like a straight laser, if I remember correctly. And the force gun as well. I've heard this one is quite nice. So, I think we're going to pick four weapons. And maybe just stick with them for this playthrough. Um, I've, I don't think I actually ever really tried the pulse rifle. I've heard that it does get pretty bloody good. Maybe that could be fun for some high rate of fire action. But I'm thinking something a little bit more exotic. Yeah, we'll have a fiddle with that down the line. Alright. So unfortunately we are at a bit of a dead end with our weapon upgrades. But that's fine. That's only temporary. Right, let's go. So, we've powered that on, but we can't get through there yet. That's cool. Right, going up. Yeah, poor Mr. Harris. It's quite enough of you, to be honest. Let's see if we can't grind this guy into dust. There we go. Definitely don't want any of his business. Yeah, maybe it would have been a good idea to actually grab that. Whatever. It's fine. We work with the tools that we have. Ah, how interesting. There actually were some goodies here. On normal difficulty. Curious. All right, who's making that noise? Oh, hello. There's somebody just over yonder. Well, oh, that's fine. We'll introduce him to his greatest fan. There we go. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. Definitely was hoping for a little bit more. Is he dying? Hard to tell. Wow, this guy really wants some. Damn. Okay, those guys are pretty tough, to be honest. Yeah, that's definitely missing. Now, I'm not noticing any more enemies than we got on the medium difficulty, but... They definitely are a little bit tougher. Now, do we have any goodies hidden down here? It doesn't look like it. Nope. And where does this go? Ah, leads us to a save spot. And that's zero G therapy, which is where we've got to go. All right. So let's check this way first, just to see. Ah. Well, this looks like a very ominous dark room, doesn't it? Grab you. Stay frosty, everybody. Another surgery room. So what have we got? We've got text log. Uh, so, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officers, Sensory depri uh, Deprivation Treatment. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep, uh, paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying, underlying cause is showing up in environmental uh, analysis. Foodstuffs or radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis. So in the meantime, I'm trying... Uh, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those, sim uh, those systems are old. They need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing seems to help. 
I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Yeah, it does seem to be the lesser of two evils. Hello. So we've got some more level two clearance here. Cool, cool. Alright, well, I think... Just about everything that we can play with in here. There is a vent on the wall there, so... This room is not a safe room. Or should I say there's a vent on the ceiling? Now... Uh, I guess we'll drop a save. I'm determined to see how many saves. Okay, so we're actually over 100 now. This is save 101. <laughs> Curious. I'm pretty sure there was like a 100 uh, save slot limit in the first game. Right, so we need to be level 2 clearance for that door. That's fine. Alright, creepy creepy. All these intricate detail in the environments. Ooh. Right, well, this would be a little bit more shocking, but we've got loads of air. Well, like two minutes of air, basically. Which, admittedly, this section isn't exactly big anyway, so. Now, the way they've managed the suit upgrades in this game is you kind of have to upgrade your air storage anyway. Which you never really had to do in the original game. Uh, because it was a... Ah, there's me. Keep using medkits. Um... Yeah, you never needed to upgrade your air in the original game because obviously it was just a waste of power nodes. But now they've bundled it into your suit, you actually have to upgrade your power nodes to get past the power node and onto better stuff. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is fine. Because although it's not essential, um, it's nice to have that extra oxygen. Counseling services. Trouble with life off world? Do you miss the atmosphere? Have recently been diagnosed with a serious illness? We're here to provide you with top tier counseling and support. Depression, terrestrial longing, terminal illnesses. Okay, so it wasn't quite the utopian future then with medical science. <laughs> Zero gravity therapy room. Caution, please read. Navigating a zero G environment is dangerous. Only crew members wearing gravity boots should activate the gravity control panel and should use caution at all times. Patients should not enter unless accompanied by a CEC medical officer. That yeah, makes sense. Well. This place has seen better days, hasn't it? Uh, be nice if we could see in here. Looks like lights are slowly coming online. Right. Now, there's quite a few items kind of dotted around in here. And this is the new Zero G mechanics of this version, which they're okay. They're certainly better than the original basic kind of uh, jump from platform to platform mechanic. Um, I believe they did this in Dead Space 2. They allowed you like full movement. Uh, and it's reasonably responsive. One of the only major issues that I have with it is you hold the mouse button to reorientate yourself. Um, which is fine. But as you can see, if you start getting close to things, or your view's obstructed, it doesn't often work very well. But it's kind of a minor criticism, if anything. Look at all these people in these 
deprivation pods. I do wonder if these are all dead. I guess we don't know. I'm going to say they're probably dead. They've probably been in there so long that they've like starved or something. But would they starve? Or would they have like nutrients pumped into them or something? I don't know. But then even if that was the case, I suppose the machinery that's pumping the nutrients into them and checking their vi uh, vitals is basically long since kaput. Uh, and I'm not seeing any items around here. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Yeah, I like this. It's cool. Yeah, I have to... Don't have to do a lot of it. But it is fun. Right, what have we got? Flame for a fuel. Very nice. Credits. Very nice. All of these things we like. I see you. Can't hide your credits from me. Assurance. Don't deplete yourself. Probably good advice. Probably. I yeah, can't do nothing with a vending machine. Alright. So there's our hydrazine. What's happening there? I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Be careful with that hydrazine. I'm not losing anyone else. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I've got a feeling we'll be surviving this endeavor. Maybe not in this reality. It might take uh, certain timelines. But we will survive. Now, you always seem to find leapers in zero gravity. Shocking, right? Leapers. Um, but they seem to be pretty much the only enemy we seem to have to fight in zero G. I was going to say, dude, where's your item? Don't shortchange me like that. Alright, cool. Now, leapers are, seem to be rarely. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Yeah, stay frosty. Yeah, leapers seem to be very rarely in uh, single numbers. Well, that sucks. Alright, whatever. Yes, we're going up. Yeah, you can see straight away the game is throwing the new mechanics at you the zero G stuff and it's such an improvement over the original system for sure take some creds something about the way the zero G in this game works as well uh, the way everything deadens down which is like the original uh, it's just really good it's really cool really atmospheric uh, I always like to have a good look around because, especially in zero G, like so, you do get a lot of boxes and things floating around and you get like the single items. Now single items do glisten, but they're not super obvious all the time. <laughs> Alright, we're good. <laughs> All right, calm down. Settle down. There we go. Now, one thing that's cool about your oxygen as well, it doesn't recharge until the door is actually locked. So even though we've moved into this room, obviously all the oxygen in this room has been sucked out into space. So that's another really cool little detail that I like. Right. So we can't go through there. Alright, so we need to remember when we come back here. 
there is a level one room and a level two room. That's fine. Oh boy. This is, ah, there we go, item. This is totally safe. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Took one step out of the captain's net to Chen, that thing. He almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pot. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Dude, just finish him off, honestly. I know it sucks. Zero gravity. But it's not really Chen anymore. I'm just saying, man. And also, uh, yeah, we won't go into that. We'll go into that in a minute. All right, cool. Let's keep going. You know, the ray tracing in this game as well is kind of subtle, but it's really effective. The light looks really natural. I'm a fan. I do need to get a higher um, resolution monitor now. Now that we've got this. Now I've got this 4080. Um, now one thing I will say about the um, environments, as you can see, like even though we're playing it maxed out, all the textures and things aren't actually super high resolution. Whereas, oh, hello. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Knew there's gonna be one behind us. Should we try the flamethrower? Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Oh I like that. Oh I like the flamethrower. Oh we've burnt all its skin off. Oh that's so cool. Oh my god that's so cool. Yeah I like the flamethrower. And look at the lighting. That's what we like. Yeah, so uh, in comparison to like Callisto Protocol where everything was super high resolution and super almost photorealistic, something about this game just looks better. I think it's the art direction. They've seemed to do they've seemed to do a lot more with less, if that makes sense. But I think that a lot of that comes down to the atmosphere. And the dread. Ah, look, see, we've come back through this room. The room that we've already visited. Or walked past, at least. Right, not bad. Yeah, I just think that's um, where Callisto Protocol went wrong a little bit. They focused so much on the graphics, and the graphics were beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but uh, it just, all the other aspects of the games kind of atrophied a little bit. All right, and it still just didn't have the atmosphere this game had. But I suppose the difference is this game is just fun to play. <laughs> Whereas Callisto, uh, not so much. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.